I really want to share with you my, my experience, um, you know, and hopefully it could, you know, inspire or encourage other people to, to do better. So the story goes like this, um, after, you know, contracting COVID, um, what I experienced uh, as an athlete, as somebody who considers himself to be physically fit and also fully vaccinated, uh, what I experienced, um, I think you guys need to hear that. So, because like I said, for somebody who is physically fit, um, when I found myself, you know, having lost my taste, but having lost my sense of smell, um, you know, that was the easy part. But when I realized that, you know, the oxygen that I was um, inhaling at times was not enough for my lungs, that's when I realized this thing is really, really serious. You know, I train and I exercise um, and I could push myself. Mentally, I'm, I'm usually strong. But to find myself gasping for air, having to lower my, my heart rate, you know, to pump oxygen in my lungs by taking deep, deep breaths, you know, it had me thinking, you know, um, I know we have a vaccination drive here in St. Lucia and people are reluctant. And I asked myself a few questions, you know, Imagine if I was not fully vaccinated, what could have happened to me? You know, I have a young family, you know, um, I consider myself still young. Imagine I ended up in an ICU or in a hospital because, you know, um, I did not follow the protocol. So I needed to share this story with you to encourage you to observe the protocols. Um, I, I believe being vaccinated really allow me to cope better with, with the COVID-19. And from my experience, you know, I, I've, I've, I came home, you know, I'm able and capable of, you know, just calling my doctor and doing a full body examination and see that everything is okay, but not everybody is, is able to do that, you know, and some of the effects of COVID up to now, after a month, you know, I find myself, you know, getting tired really fast. Um, I still find myself like gasping for, for, for air sometimes, you know, the shortness of breath rather. So um, I'm here to encourage, it, to encourage you to, to observe the protocols. COVID is not a joke. Get vaccinated. And just before I thought of doing that interview, I asked myself a few question, questions. Imagine I'm not paying heed to the protocols. I'm out there, you know, just doing whatever I want. And then I contracted COVID and my mom lives with me. Imagine I bring COVID home to my mom, all my kids, and my mom end up dying, God forbid, because me being irresponsible. I could not live with myself knowing that I did that. So can you live with yourself knowing that you the one who brought COVID home to a family member and then they're not here anymore. Can you live with yourself? I feel because I was fully vaccinated, um, I stood a better chance of surviving this. So I challenge you to do the same. Don't bring COVID home to your loved ones because that's a big cross to bear if you're the one who brings death upon your family.